Cage door closing, Brad, on our first of four pro contests. This in the flyweight division. Jack Young fighting out of the blue corner in the black clinch gear shorts, representing the Rough House as he takes on Airshare Fight Academy's Ian Postlethwaite in the black shorts trimmed with the pink. We're, we're at the business end now, Brad. We certainly are. Brad Morton and Steve Cook have a privilege to call the action this evening at PMF MMA number two. If you have been joining us all night on the live stream, of course, pro rules, that means elbows, that means twisting locks, neck cracks, all legal now, and of course, three five-minute rounds rather than three-minute rounds. So Luke Jack Young, three and four, I believe. His opponent, a little more experience. Beautiful catch of the kick there. Gets the trip, avoids the armbar attempt. Going for the knee now here is the Impostle Thwaite. Trying to lace up that leg. But beautiful work to clear the knee there. Turn your back, bend the leg, pull through, twist back, and you're back in control again. Throw, tried to throw the legs to the side there of Impostle Thwaite. You've got to be careful of jumping into the guard of a guy like Impostle Thwaite because he's obviously you've got that tendency to snap submissions on quite quickly. Trying to step over there is Jack. Nice, steps over, but a beautiful, beautiful roll. Into full mount here. Oh, nice it's a elbow big shot. Postlethwaite. Great scramble though here from Jack. Oh, Young. and turns him. And I think that one shot bloodied up Jack Young but I, I don't know if, if he maybe banged his head on the floor then as well when he came down I'm not sure I mean it was a meaty thump they both hit the mat with but yeah uh, Jack Young bloodied up here from the nose not the kind of uh, injury that's going to end the fight but very much could affect his breathing Breathe. as the fight wears on absolutely Is that a cut on the head of no, I think, it, I is that think it's, just the, it's just the blood dripping down. Oh, oh huge up kick. Great work from Postle Thwaite there. Very good accuracy. Jack Young trying to stay heavy on top. A little bit of blood already. You know, we, we do see that in the pro rules with the elbows. The, the, the cuts are open much more easily. That's why we don't have them in the amateur rule sets. We're trying to keep these kids safe and able to compete as, as often as possible. But obviously the professionals know what they're getting into and they're fighting under this pro rule set and they are uh, ready, willing and able to use those weapons. Jack Young trying to slice open that. Close, very tight half guard. Uh, what's and a bit of plasma between friends? Hey, absolutely. Good scramble. And he's a mess. Yeah, that nose is really bleeding very heavily now. So the worry with that, obviously, is, you know, you start swallowing it. It starts going down the back of your throat. Your instinct is to sniff, to breathe in. Yeah. It clogs you up. You can't breathe properly. And the longer the fight goes on, you'll find yourself breathing out of your mouth, and that leaves you susceptible to the big hits. I mean, we're only... What, three and a half minutes in? It looks like these guys have been in a war already. Yeah, and it's a great target for Ian Postle fight now as well. It's just jab that nose. Goes for the flight. Oh! Huge shot, knocks the mouthpiece out of Jack Young's mouth, I believe. Well, obviously out of his mouth, I mean Jack Young's mouthpiece. Yeah. 
Not sure Eva Jones just looking mouthpieces. for that break that, in the action. That's your business and nobody else's. Yeah. <laughs> Slides that mouthpiece back in. and yes, Both guys landing good shots in that exchange. Oh, there's a nice straight right hand there from Jack Young. Goes for the takedown. Does he come out on top? He does in the scramble. But Postlethwaite, as soon as he hit the elbow, as soon as he hits the mat, he's looking to scramble. He stays busy. Yeah, you get the impression that if you give Postlethwaite an inch on the ground, he's going to take a mile. And by a mile, I mean one of your arms. Yeah. Well, Young's going to finish the round on top. That was a great first round of pro MMA here at BMF2 tonight. That nose is a mess. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we're seeing here at BMF2. You know, they've, they've got all, all, all the right pieces in place uh, to put on a great, safe, uh, responsible, and entertaining show. Uh, Jack Young tried to go high there to open the round. He's trying to in on that clinch. Forces Postlethwaite up against the cage. And nice roll through there from Postlethwaite. Oh, and a big elbow from the bottom, right on the jawline. And he just doesn't know when he's well, doesn't know when he's beaten or when he's down as possible. He just keeps working. I mean, these are two incredibly physically strong guys. You can see that just by looking at the grappling exchanges. There's there's no floor rolling going on here. These guys are forcing each other around this cage, and that's got to be tiring. Uh, Jack Young on top, chipping away at the body. That nose is starting to leak again. Is he on? Nope. Thought he looked maybe to tie up that neck. And it's been a, a grueling round and a half so far. Yeah, that's the perfect word to describe it, Steve. You know, there's... There's been some nice exchanges on the feet, and there's been some arduous looking exchanges on the mat. Oh, nice combinations there from Young. Takes one back from Postlethwaite. Postlethwaite does look physically the bigger man at the weight class. Nice uppercut there from Jack Young. And the roughhouse corner, very appreciative of that. Nice left to the body from Ian Postlethwaite, though. Spray of blood as he breathes out there from. Yeah, well, the, cor the corner there, the Hardy Water corner said that chin down, hands high. They don't want him being caught by an errant shot. They know how powerful Postlethwaite is. Beautiful level oh. change there. Postlethwaite again oh, trying oh. to roll through. Doesn't make it this time. This time, no. Jack can work. Listen to his corner there very well. He was telling him not to rush now. The they, want the, they want the hips closer yeah. to the mat for, uh, for Jack Young there. Yeah, it was that the get Jimmy the arse Wallhead down said. from yeah. Jimmy Wallhead, yeah. On Easter Sunday, Steve, you can't say words like that. <laughs> arse isn't swearing where I'm from. It might be here, <laughs> but... Good work from Postlethwaite on the bottom. Two minutes left in the round, and he's oh, looking for the head, head and arm here. Has trying he to step over. Bit slippery, though. Good work, though, threatening the submission. Well, it's giving Ian Postlethwaite one more thing to think about if he's hanging out in these positions. Now we see some nice short shots there with the elbow from Jack Young. And it looks like the company has done a pretty good job on the nose. It's yeah. not bleeding as much in this round as it did in the first. No, only, I mean, it, you take a look at it now from here. <laughs> they really, they really want him to get his ass down. But again, coming out on top position in the scramble. Both hooks in now for Jack Young. And now he's going to have a little bit of time to fight for the neck here. We'll see if Postlethwaite's submission D 
body triangle, and, and, you know, and this is what we call effective grappling. You know, he's got the body triangle. He's advanced to a very strong position, and he's looking for the submission here while landing strikes. He's under the throat with one arm here. Oh, he might he have has it. Going to have to hand fight well as possible. Three. Thanks to the... He may not have a choice here. Can't stand there. It's the tap. 